Hello, Gemini. It's Joyce with Shadow by You Tarot. What a little on y'all bringing you the Tarot Love Tea to wrap up the end of August 2020. So guys, take what resonates from this reading. Leave the rest behind. These are general love messages. So if you would like a private reading to get into the tea of your situation, please email me here, shadowbyutarot at gmail.com. Also, please check out my new memberships, two tiers to choose from, and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Subscribe, share my videos, comment down below, and hit the notification bell so that you know each and every time I upload new videos and go live here on YouTube where I do super chat answering your love tea questions live. All right, Gemini, we are going to kick it out with the Tarot Illuminati. And I am focusing on the strongest, current, most dominant love energies for the Zodiac sign of Gemini. Remember... To take what resonates but leave the rest behind if it doesn't resonate it is not your reading the only true reading is a private reading guys have a great time here on the body all right gemini spirit give me the messages that gemini needs to see that gemini needs to hear at this time give me the current love energies for the zodiac sign of gemini gemini in love thank you All right, we have here the Ace of Swords, the Star, Three of Pentacles. This is what came out. I'm going to keep them. The Ten of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Three of Swords, King of Pentacles, and we have the King of Cups. Okay, let me fix this. Did you see this King of Cups very well? Okay. Underneath the deck, what do we have here? Aha! Ace of Cups. A new beginning. From what was a burden, an unhappy ending here. But you see, this new beginning is going to be a wish fulfilled, a healing energy here. From going through a lot of burdens, a lot of burdensome cycles in life, someone is coming towards you, chariot and cancerian energy. And it's going to help you heal more however you need courage and strength to be able to accept this person you may be afraid to accept this offer coming towards you okay but there is healing here being done in the star card as well aquarius energy so gemini this is you libra or aquarius ace of swords Clarity in a situation, new beginnings here. Hearing from someone either from your past or this could be a new person. I feel like it's someone that you do know. I feel like someone you do know that you have some type of a history with. It couldn't, it doesn't mean 
a love history. It could just be someone who is close to a family, your family, a friend of the family, just someone that you know. Because there's some type of roots here. For some, I mean, I'm feeling family for a lot of you. But this person brings clarity, truth. Prosperity, abundance, they bring a lot to the table. This is a very spiritual person, or you are, Gemini. I just want to bring that up. We also have the star here. You and this person have experienced a lot of the same things in love. You really have, and I feel the universe is bringing you guys together. Could be someone who is of a different culture, but I do see partnership here. Stability, building a stable foundation. Could be a marriage contract. You're signing with this person, Ten of Swords. That will make the end of a very painful cycle. You are healing from being betrayed in relationships. Cheated on. Yeah, this person coming towards you, um, Gemini, is very stable, solid, committed to you. Attention to the details. Coming in from a long distance. Yeah, somebody here is healing from a third party heartbreak. This person is bringing with them that offer of marriage and commitment. Taurus energy here. Could be any sign, but Taurus is heavy. And true love. King of Pentacles. They're not going to express their love to you right away. This isn't someone who wears their heart on their sleeve, but they do feel deeply. This is a genuine connection. You and this person have experienced so many of the same things. This could be a business owner, Aries energy, or Taurus heavy Taurus here. This person's going to offer you their world. Lots of anxiety, self-doubt. I feel like this is you trapped in your head. Worried. Can I trust? Can I trust? They're saying yes you can. You need to speak with this person. This communication is coming in. They will clarify how they feel. They're not going to leave you in the dark about their feelings. They will tell you. You know, but they're not going to be very expressive, especially in the beginning. We have the Two of Wands and the Princess of Swords. We also have Judgment here. So definitely healing. Communication. This is someone you know from your past. Some of you, it could have been a love relationship in the past. But this person lives at, I feel they are from another culture. It's all about, about divine timing. But they will be traveling to you. I feel they will bring you to wherever they are from. They will also bring you there to visit Maybe even to live for a little while. We have the world and the princess of wands. This person wants to show you their world. They want to share their world with you. Major life cycle change for the better. There may be some conflict with this. There may be some conflict. Maybe outside influences are going to be jealous or try to sway you to not be with this person for whatever reason. 
But this person is true. All right? They are true. And they are loyal. But there's going to be some outside conflict regarding this. But you need to let that go and trust. Okay, we have the alchemist here. We have the four of cups. You're going to question this person's offer. And they are coming to you mighty quickly. Three of wands. I feel your doubts are going to be really get give these this person a chance give them a chance you need to release this negative energy tower scorpio energy here you need to release that you need to clear away let go of what no longer serves you because this person is true you're feeling scared to trust them not sure, insecure, and causing yourself anxiety. But they're saying, please, please, please get out of your head. You have a brand new cycle coming in and it belongs to you. Accept it. Accept it. So I have Scorpio here. Taurus is so heavy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Aries. Could be any sign. I'm just giving y'all the strongest Capricorn is also here. All right. Leo is here. Also Cancer. Angelic Principality. Please get your nine messages they need to hear. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. This is, I'm telling you, this person's coming towards you. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Taurus just had this. So I'm telling you. Somebody's dealing with a Taurus. Somebody out there. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. You and this person. Look at the wedding attire. Y'all need time alone. Y'all need time away from the world. Y'all need time to connect. Playfulness to recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. You could be yourself with this person. You can enjoy this relationship. And not have to worry heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings and that's what y'all going to be doing. That's what y'all going to be doing. And that's why y'all going to be disconnecting from the world. This person is coming to you. Get ready. Get set. It's time to go with them. <laughs> okay? I hope you enjoyed the reading, Gemini. I hope it resonated. Let me know in the comments below if it did or not. If you want to dive deep and get a private reading, email me here. Shadowbyutero gmail.com. Hit subscribe. Give me that thumb. Share my videos. Comment. Hit notification bell. Your work here is done. So is mine. I will see you soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.